Hello and welcome back to Let's Grow Up. Today I am back with a very small topic. Uh, it is related with pump stop. In this video, I will share the importance of pump stop or what is the utility of pump stop. Here you can see the pump stop. This is a very small topic. That's why today I am trying to share with my boys. Hope this video will help you to learn about the importance of bump stop. Why used bump stop in LHB bogey? And in this view, it will much more clear the whole picture of bump stop. Here you can see the bump stop. And the another side also, here you can see the bomb stop. Yeah, here you can see the bomb stop. So, so look, the here you can see the bomb stop. This is the bomb stop. Okay and and this is the clearance between the bomb stop this is the clearance so let's see its structure so now we see its structure you can see the parts of the bomb stop and you can see it it is located it is located under the bogey bolster under the bogey bolster you can see the bolster is here so this is the bogey bolster you can see it and you know it already bogey bolster and it is attached with the bolster the bump stop is located under the bogey bolster the bomb stop use both side in a trolley or bogey both side here also and the both side you can see here and another side also okay so so now let's learn the importance of bomb stop why need bomb stop and to learn it we have to see its animation at first so let's check the animation okay and we learn side by side watching animation uh, we show the animation and also we learn the importance or the utility of the bomb stop side by side okay so let's start friends now you can see the animation and you can uh, learn it quickly. Look, the entire animation is very slow right now, but in final, I will share the final animation. Here you can see the bogey bolster animation, and the bomb stop is also attached with the bogey bolster. So now let's learn the importance of this bomb stop or the utility of this bomb stop. The suspension, when the suspension is continuous working, the same time the spring has, it has own limit. When the load is over limit, how a vertical load transfer, how a vertical load transfer the load transmit from the coach through the bolster beam and here the secondary suspension helical spring to primary suspension by the bogey frame so this is the system of load transfer and same time the spring it has 
its own limit how much this spring can control the load during this process the bump stop will protect the spring bump stop will protect the spring from the damage okay so this is the utility of bump stop so any time if there is load high if there is load capacity high it will break so right okay so here also the longitudinal bump stop and the lateral bump stop so here you can see the lateral lateral damper is here you can see it the lateral lateral damper the damper is attached with the frame of traction center frame the bolster and the traction frame so if you watching this video first time click the notification bell icon so that the next time when i will upload any video you will get the first notification bell thank you so much friends for joining and watching this video and also take care so this is chiranjit signing out i will meet another video till then take care tata bye thank you so much